visit our website goldstartool.com Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I uh, pretty much what's happening now these days is like people email or text or call me and tell me what they want me to videotape. So uh, there are these two very popular items that we sell on our website and there are finger guards and I, I'm going to tell you what I mean by finger guards. So. If you buy a regular sewing machine, and we're working on a new tech sewing machine right now, an industrial high shank food industrial sewing machine, you'll see that most of the machines, if you buy them used or some of the new ones, the needle is out here and you could pretty much sew your finger right here. If you see, you could, your finger could just go here or not even your finger, your fabric could get stuck underneath. You could have fabric underneath the foot and then fabric might even come up here and get stuck. And sometimes your fabrics are really expensive. You're doing vinyl or you could doing leather. So we wanna make sure that you don't hurt yourself and we wanna make sure that, you know, you're doing a great job sewing and it's always happy sewing. So there are these two very popular items that call finger guard. One is wired, like the way you see it, it's wired, and the, way, the other one is aluminum, uh, I would say aluminum metal type. So this item right here is 19S, 19S, S like Sam on our website. And this item on our website is 150384-0-01. So I'm gonna, show you how to install them and how to use them. So again, this is an industrial sewing machine. This is the high shine foot. This is the foot right here that you could open up and close the foot. See, whenever you want to change the foot, you could just raise, open the foot, right? The screw right here. And first we're gonna try the 19S right here, this one. You want to do that one you just go ahead and put it behind the foot make sure you're tight and adjust and go very easy done i'm gonna make sure it's tight so camera please zoom in see this is what we just added right there. It's very easy to add. So now your finger can go in there and there's an opening right here for your thread if you want to do the thread. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sew and you see, doesn't make any different sewing. The sewing would be the same. It's just that whenever you want to go, your finger, you see, it would prevent my finger from going in. That's one thing. This is the one called 19S, 19S. It's much easier to change that one. So I'm going to go ahead and take one out. And now I'm going to take the whole foot out to make sure, because I know you're going to have a question from me. And the question is if you're going to, use this while we're doing the pressure foot. Quick change pressure foot that we have here. So this is a pressure foot quick change screw that everybody, and we made a video on this already. So we took our screw out, the black screw, and this is the fabric, the finger guard right here, the 19S. And the way it works that we wanna make sure that we could do this, so it's four parts. One, two, stay right here. So the screw goes through. This is enough to let you know that this works with this, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the 
the all the other parts in there and this one goes in there too there's already a video online for if you guys haven't seen this one we have a video just a little bit hard to get it going but when you screw it in voila is that part called sfc2 s like fam frank uh, sam f like frank c like chat t two like number two called pressure food quick change screw we already have this in our uh, youtube channel and our website but i wanted to make sure if this is so this is the way it works is like if you want to do a quick change like right now we want to change to something else we just push this down bam and everything will come down so now we know that this will definitely definitely work with this type of uh, quick change screw now we're gonna go ahead and while we have this on we're gonna see if we could use the wire type so we're gonna go put back this back on this is the way the normal normally looks now uh, we have to take that off again obviously to let the screw in so I'm gonna go ahead and let this loose and uh, let me just do a uh, regular time I mean the original way first and then we go back and do this one so this is the way it would work see as long as the screw goes through it then you are all safe that you could use the uh, but it is very important to have one of these, especially if you guys do a mass production or you have a shop. Uh, we wanna make sure that your place is safe and nobody's gonna you know, hurt themselves. So this is a very, very, very important item to have. So, This one is here. So with the other one, you did not have to take the whole screw out. With this one, you obviously have to take everything out and put this one in. Just put it through the hole right here. Go back in and you have to just find the hole and You could also use a thumb screw. That's why I think it's much better to use one of those. This is a very, very tiny screw. And now I know why everybody wants a thumb screw. But I'm gonna here. Yeah. Put this one first. I'm gonna put that one first, then we're gonna come down. Now, we're gonna close this one. So as you see, the we have a much easier time putting the the 19S, the other uh, finger guard on. This is the wire, and you could adjust. You could come all the way up if you want to here. If you want to come down, you could just come down here. So I I like this one better. It just as you said, much easier to. Uh, put it on and take it off. So now this is the the wire type. And now 
this is the original screw and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just take that off you're gonna say hey David is crazy why are you taking it off and we're gonna go ahead and see if we could put the um, this one on the uh, quick change screw and this one I know is much easier inside inside two parts put it on and we are doing this again just to make sure this will work if you have one of these See, you could see that it has to be that tight. So it, it is a little bit, you need to push a little bit hard to adjust this thing. But the reason is that when you do it, then you're done. And it always stays in there. So you don't have to take it on and off. You just press this up and this will come down. Now, this can can come off because you're gonna use another uh, foot instead. Now, what you could also do, if you want, to be easy, if you don't wanna use this tiny screws, you could use this thumb screws that we have on our website too. So these thumb screws are on our website also. Um, then you're very easy. You could either use this type of foot, this type of screw that usually comes original from the company. You could use this quick exchange foot or you could use this thumb screw right here. And again, this is 19S. This is 15038-0-01. So, uh, Another thing that everybody want uh, everybody wanted to know was that can they go on the home sewing machine foot? So I have an uh, low shank home sewing machine by uh, Sewtech, and I'm going to open this one. This should be much easier. I'm going to take the foot out. Okay, and let me just cut the. So we want to know if this will work on a home sewing machine. Let me just close this one up. So this one on the wire, no, it won't fit, or would it? See, I'm doing, I go on as same way. So we learn this together. This is a low shank, and yes, it will work on a uh, home sewing machine low shine foot. And again, this is the wire one. The wire one is a little bit harder to put on, but I'm gonna go put the aluminum one or all steel one. And this one is gonna be much easier. This one is like, you could have the whole thing on. You could have the whole thing on like the way I'm doing it, just put the screw on first. And I hope you guys are gonna follow me on YouTube and gonna give me a thumbs up 
and like our videos. So with this one, you just have to bring this under and put this behind No, so now we see 19S, the, the needle bar will hit, hit the fabric, the thumb, the finger guard. So no, this one will not work with the, with the low shank machine, but this one, oh, it's a little bit hard, but yes, this one will work. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget, always like, thumbs up, and follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Thank you for watching.